today I'm going to show you how to turn a PNG image or any transparent image into a 3D object using Video Copilot's Element 3D. First, what you want to do is create a new comp. Within that new comp, right click, create a new solid, name that solid 3D. Then right click on that 3D solid, go over to effects, video copilot, element 3D. Your next step is to go over to project and then create a second comp. You're gonna wanna title this second comp texture. Within that texture comp, you're gonna wanna drag in your PNG image or your transparent image whatever image you would like to create into a 3D object. So then once that image is within your texture comp, you go over to comp one, which has your 3D solid. Then you go up into your project, grab your texture comp and bring that into your comp one. So in comp one, you're gonna have your texture comp and your 3D solid both there. You then click on your texture comp Go up to layer, auto trace, make sure apply to a new layer is checked, leave everything else default and then click OK. After that's done auto tracing, you click on your 3D solid, you come up to your effects panel, you go down to your custom layers, custom text and masks then you select auto trace texture as your path layer one. Then under your custom text and masks, you have your custom texture map. Layer one, you're gonna wanna set that as your texture. So once those are both set, you go over to scene setup. On the top here, you click extrude. You can see your object is now in here. You go over to your group folder, bevel one, and then in your bevel one settings over here, you can kind of make your object bigger, however you would like it. Then you go down to textures and diffuse. Click on this little box right here. Click on the arrow <clears throat> that says load textures. And you can see our custom layer one, we already have set, so click on texture. Then okay. You can see it is not proper yet. So you come up to your bevel one settings and click use layers as UV. Once you click that, everything is all set, you're good to go. From there, you can go over to your environment, set it to your scene, click okay. You're gonna to wanna to deselect these top two layers and just leave your 3D layer. With the image being a little dark, you're gonna to wanna to click new, light, and a parallel. Obviously that brightens up your image right there. So once that's set, you can go in back into your element settings under group one and mess around with whatever you'd like. Particle rotation, you can obviously set more. Quick little tip, when holding shift, you can move these objects way quicker than without holding shift. It's very minimal movement. So if you're trying to big spread and trying to move fast here, you hold shift, and when you select and drag, it moves everything a little quicker. So once you're set, you have everything how you like it, you do your keyframes, blah, blah, blah. You're good to go. Then obviously if you want this transparent, you go over to file, export, add to render queue. Under your output settings, you change it from H.264, to QuickTime. Under your channels, under your video output, you're gonna to wanna to switch it to RGB plus alpha. 
that gives it a transparent background. You could do this with any transparent image. Um, even if you don't have a transparent image, bring it into Photoshop, cut it out, cut your object out, make it how you like, and then bring it in here. The options are absolutely endless. There's so many things you could do. You can create your own packs. You can create your own effects. Um, you can do things your way, so it's pretty cool. So I appreciate you guys watching, and um, I'm going to be making some more tutorials. So like and subscribe, stick around, and I appreciate everybody. Have a good day.